Life, party people, you're back in the booth with the technical swag DJ. And today we have the Nabi 2 tablet by Fuhu. This is the Cav 60 that I talk about in other reviews. This is the dummy laptop, basically. A cell phone has never been plugged into it. The only thing that's ever been plugged into this device is this Nabi 2. All right, so um, first I'm going to show you what kind of uh, system we have going on here. This is Android version 4.1. Point one, okay, and product version is 2.3. This is the update with um, the Google Play Store on it, okay. I don't need to add an account right yet. Um, you know, got your Google Apps including YouTube and Gmail. But today we're gonna try to go through this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to activate Root or how to enable Root on this tablet. All right, the first thing you're told is to download PDA Net. I guess this is desktop for Windows or Mac actually, but I'm going to download it for Windows since I'm running a Windows PC, of, of course, subsequently. <laughs> okay, this is the 4.15 installer for Windows 8 and 7 Vista XP, both 32 and 64 bit. The next thing you're told is to make sure you have USB debugging enabled. So I'm going to cut that on and grab my USB debugging cable. Okay, so now I'm plugged in. Now PDA Net is used to install your drivers. All right, that's what they say. So let's go. Installing USB driver. Now it's setting up the network driver. Check. Updating PDA Net on your phone. Check. All right, it says it's done. I'm gonna click finish. And I'm gonna close out this window or at least minimize it for now. All right, you see the Navi thing pop up right there. All right, let's go on a control panel and see if these drivers are installed, actually. System, security, device manager under system. And right now I see no exclamation points telling me that this is not installed. Android ADB interface is right here. Um, that's pretty much all I see. Portable devices, Navi 2 is in there. Okay, that's official, that's cool. All right, so I'm gonna leave that open, I don't even care. All right, next thing is download this JMZ root package. You wanna go to your C drive, my computer, C drive, and create a folder, SDK, all capital letters. Inside the folder, you wanna create another folder, let's say JMZ, JMZ folder is right there. So what I did was I emptied the, the contents of the JMZ root package and I copied it into the JMZ folder of the SDK folder of the C drive okay so that's in there okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the directions to a T and I'm gonna open up a command prompt window go down and start menu type in CMD command prompt okay I'm gonna change directory to C colon C colon backslash S D K backslash J M Z. Now let's see if that works. Okay, so I've changed the directory. Okay, I'm gonna do install batch file or B A T install B A T. All options will not wipe data. All data is retained. Okay, look, a lot of people were saying that option one doesn't work, so I'm gonna go with option two. And anyways, I don't need gaps because I already have gaps due to the new update. So I'm gonna try option two. Two, bling, starting ADB server. Make sure the device is ready, connected, rebooting the device. Sending the recovery finished. It says now hit volume plus, then hit volume minus until recovery kernel is selected. Push volume plus to select. And then it says press enter when recovery has booted. Okay, let's see how that goes, guys. Jeez, I hope it gets booted. Uh oh, do I press it now or do I press it when it's fully booted? Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. All right, rebooting, recovering, and backup current ROM and install root. No data will be lost. Please wait until backup and install have completed. Once it has completed, hit enter. All right, okay. 
So, uh, when does it let you know it's completed? And wouldn't this be a, kind of a big file to back up? What I decided to do was try an updated twerp. Team Win Recovery Project. This is version 2.6.3.0. In parentheses, it says Nabby Disney 1.0. Okay, I've done the same exact thing, but except I took this recovery that I found on the Nabby 2 wiki through XDA, extracted it, and dropped it in the JMZ root stuff. <laughs> uh, the, root, the root project files or whatever you want to call it. So um, what we have going on right now, it says it's backing up. It looks like it's starting to do something different than it's ever had before. And we'll come right back. All right, let's see what's happening here. I'm scared. Please, no boot loops. I already had my cereal this morning. I don't need any boot loops. Okay, we got the Android is upgrading. Finishing boot. My God. Thank you so much. We're not stuck in any boot loops. We're not eating boot loops today. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, man, because if I didn't have this in here, my kid would probably be downloading documents from the Pentagon. All right. I can't tell if I'm rooted or not. Now, uh, let's see. So what just happened was I clicked on SU. It said SU binaries need to be updated. Okay, I guess it needed to try to boot, reboot into Twerp or Clockwork Mod Recovery to update the SU binaries. And so now it's rebooting back up after I clicked on Twerp Clockwork Mod. We're back in action so far. Let's go back in, make sure I still have my root access. Done. I'm done. Submit. All right. We're back in action. Let's open up the app drawer. Let's check it out. SU is right there. And that's what I'm talking about. Just a little bit of figuring out, a little bit of reading. I wouldn't be able to do this without XDA. And I can't forget to twerp. Man, every one of y'all rock. I just have one piece of advice to all those tablet designers working for Android and Google. Either join us or be defeated.